Here's the Dexter Gate, the other gate with the Chicago connection. And this is along Massachusetts Avenue. You can see that it's a striped gate. Um, and you can also see through the archival photos how much the setting of this gate has changed. This is the way the gate looked in 1901 when it was built. Many of the gates, by the way, were built in 1901. You can see that it's a very, the yard looks very rural. There's, there's a slope in the background, there are trees. And actually, interestingly enough, this gate was based upon a design by uh, Sebastiani Serlio, a Renaissance architect, and it was, his idea was for a rural or rustic gate, which had very ru it alternated rough and smooth materials. And interestingly enough, it was very fitting for this setting, which was rustic. And then this is the way the gate looks now, not so rustic. Uh, in fact, when um, uh, Wigglesworth was built, as you can plainly see, they had to cut this um, arch right through the middle of the first floor so people could pass through. Now, when the students dug through the archives, they found some fascinating material. Um, and let me go here. So it turns out that I am sad to say that Samuel Dexter died suddenly of cerebrospinal meningitis only four years after he graduated. And this was really a tragedy because he was one of the most promising members of the class of uh, 1890. Um, what happened was that his mother commissioned uh, the gate as a memorial to him and consulted with President Eliot on um, a series of uh, maxims that actually appear on this gate, and they're very famous. You all know this maxim, enter to grow in wisdom, often quoted in commencement speeches and the like. Well, as our students were going through the archives, they found that many alternative versions for these quotations were considered. For example, there was one version that was considered, enter daily to grow in wisdom, which is a small change to be sure, but it sounds prescriptive rather than Olympian lacks the kind of Olympian simplicity of enter to grow in wisdom. On the back side, uh, or as you're coming out of the gate uh, into Harvard Square to Massachusetts Avenue, it says, depart to serve better thy country and thy kind. Now, thy kind has always sparked debate. What does thy kind mean? Other rich white men attending an elite institution? Um, it turns out that they had considered depart to serve better thy country and mankind, but that kind of lacked the alliteration of country and kind, so they went with thy kind. They also thought of really dumb things like to serve better thy brothers and things like that, which you know, thankfully they, they didn't do. Um, so um, it was fascinating to us to see that something that seemed so inevitable had um, actually been debated and there were alternatives for it.